This is a tutorial from the Jerome Hall Law Library on researching for judicial clerkship interviews. Before you interview with a judge, it's important for you to do as much background research as possible. In this part of the tutorial, we'll discuss how to find out about your judge's political opinions, temperament, and general background. In the next tutorial, we'll discuss how to use Westlaw and Lexis to find opinions written by your judge. We're going to start by talking about the Almanac of the Federal Judiciary, which can be found on Westlaw. To get to the Almanac, click on Directories here on the main page. Then look here under Other Directories and click on Almanac of the Federal Judiciary. You would also be able to get here simply by typing Almanac of the Federal Judiciary into the main search bar. From this link, you'll be brought to an advanced search screen. Now, since there's no browse feature, it will be difficult to use this source unless you already have the name of a judge in mind. To find a list of judges, you could use the Judicial Directories box on the Applying for Clerkships tab of this LibGuide. The American Bench, Judges of the Nation, is a book you can use to find lists of judges from each individual court in the country. Alternatively, you can just go to the website of any of the courts and find a list of judges there, or even conduct a general Google search for the judges in a particular court. Once you have the name of a judge, you can then type the name into the name field here at the bottom of the screen. Just as an example, let's go ahead and type Richard Posner into the name field. Notice that when you type in a name, the search up at the top will automatically put a slash 3 in between the first and the last names. This way of searching means that Richard will appear within three words of Posner. This ensures that even if something like a middle initial is added in, the search will still bring back the correct entry. From the results page, you can see that we only have one result, so let's go ahead and click there. Let's walk through what's in an almanac entry so you know what types of things you can find here. First, you have basic information like the court, the address, the phone number, the year of the judge's appointment, and the president who appointed him or her. You'll also find information about the judge's education, previous professional positions, and honors or awards. Next, you'll come to a few sections that will vary greatly depending on the judge, publications and noteworthy rulings. Obviously, many judges you look up are not going to have as many publications or noteworthy rulings as Judge Posner. However, it's a section you'll definitely need to pay attention to before you interview. You can see that Westlaw provides links to the articles and all of the decisions so that you can go ahead and read them right from here. Let's continue to scroll down past Posner's long list of noteworthy decisions here, and that will bring you to a section called Media Coverage which again will vary greatly from judge to judge. A really fantastic section of the almanac is here where it says lawyers evaluation. Lawyers who have argued cases before the judge will give their opinion on the judge's intellect, fairness, and questioning habits. This is where you can really get a good sense of the judge's personality, which in turn will help you determine whether you'd be a good fit for this particular judge. You'll also learn from this section about whether the judge is considered to be liberal or conservative in different areas of the law, for example, in something like criminal defense cases. Be sure to pay close attention to this section when you're preparing for your interview. A miscellaneous section may follow, depending on the judge. All of these sections will vary from judge to judge, but it's important to check the almanac for all of the judges you plan on interviewing with. That concludes the first tutorial on researching information for judicial clerkships. In the next tutorial, we'll discuss how to find case opinions that your judge has authored.